patterns within the group dynamic. In many ways, the whole situation represents a metaphor for the modern social condition we all experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, you could look at it just like a bunch of famous people fighting over tatties. That's probably the best way yes, to look at yeah, it. Yeah, probably yeah. the best way. But they can't squabble over food if they haven't got any. And the next Bush Tucker trial is on the way. Watch closely. The next 20 seconds could help you decide who does it. It's the hello phone. The telephone quiz with a difference. When they get the call, they better answer the questions. Because one celebrity will discover... Hanging on the hello phone is no fun at all. Hello phone, <laughs> and the lines are now open for hello, hello phone. phone. <laughs> Here are all the numbers you need. Quiz the cop by Dylan 09021. 32 32 01 for Brian. Put Corley on the line by Ad No 2. Has Danny got the answers? It's all three for her. Engage Esther by Ad No 4. If you think George has got a lot to answer for, then 05. It's all six to give Joe a bush tugger dial. 09021 32 32 07 to give Martina a bad line. To call Nicola back at 08. If you think Silksy's Silksy's a good listener. Sorry, what? Uh, who? Who is Silksy? About? That's Silksy. 09 for Robert. At 10, if you think Simon's a smooth operator. If you fancy a day on the phone, Add 11 for David Van. And to make a prank call, add 12 for Timmy. Calls cost 50p from BT Landlines. Calls from other networks may be higher. Mobiles will be considerably more. 15 pence from each call goes to charity. Details of which can be found at itv.com forward slash celebrity. Lions close later in the show. Votes cast after that time will not be counted but may still be charged. Now, as we've already seen, it was a very tense morning down in the camp. The way it was going, the slightest thing would spark a huge argument. Frankly, only a couple of idiots would go down there at a time like that. That's where we came in. Mm. And we went down to announce that Nicola was doing the next Bush Tucker trial, and then we got out of there just in the nick of time. You're going to have a really busy day, Dad. You're going to be going down there, going up here. You're going to be a hunter-gatherer. Well done. You get all your hair messy, you get all stuff in it. Do you know what, David? You're so much more worried about your hair than I am about mine, so don't worry about me, I'm fine. No. <laughs> I don't like him. That's it. I don't like him making snidey comments on me. I don't like him sitting there when it's me that's picked doing and acting like a ten-year-old. Actually, I'll give you a tip. I'll be a friendly tip. Now, this is a friendly tip. Nick a plaster. <laughs> I mean it. Stick it on your own, because then well, you nothing goes the in there. Do you know what? <laughs> he might be another eating one, and I did absolutely fine at that, so I'll just go Kevin and do my own. Kevin, was it Kevin. Kevin of what? There was lacking a bit of sense of humour this morning, I think. And, of course, uh, it all went skew with. It means they want bugs to go in inside your knick-knocks. Your they want the flesh out, girl. They do want the flesh out, and you're going to get covered in cack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> I didn't say any of that to you two, did I? When you two was going up for your trials, I said good luck and well, you know, I well you good done. Luck. I wish you good luck. I don't wish not good luck. No, no, he said he's, you're going to be covered in cack. I didn't say that. No, you, no, you shouldn't no. say it. Timmy did. I, I didn't say to you, and I didn't say to you, oh, what a shame. I was reacting to his remark. Yeah, and you said, what a shame. Yeah, that I reacted to his remark. So don't both be dickheads. I've congratulated you. Everyone's well being done. dickheads. No, 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 say something. A little bit of banter, Hold a bit on. of humour. You're going to have a bit on. of humour here. Can Come I on. just speak at this moment? No, well, that's not funny. You've got to laugh. Oh, I need to hear you, sir. Oh, age, age before beauty. OK. Uh, listen to me. We need our energy. We haven't got very much left. Let's not have a row with anybody. If we're feeling bad, let's go out into the undergrowth and say very rude things to plants that can't answer back. No, we can be smart asses afterwards, but right now we need to give this one all our support. Absolutely. Yeah, because you've got to get a meal for me and everybody. So no, what you should get to remarks don't help, though, mate. Well. Come on. No rows. I just think those two have been dickheads, and if they've got a problem, then just say it. Yeah. Like well, we I didn't say to you. Listen, I didn't say to you. We haven't got a problem. Got a problem. All right, to you. so just cut it because we haven't got a problem. When you're scared of but the dark and of, you're scared Simon, of water, I haven't got a problem. Well, you obviously he have because why are you making remarks to me when you can obviously see? I made a remark. Made his remark. Yeah, about me. Can you come with me? About me. Come with me. Get a sense of humour, girl. Come with me. I've got a good sense of humour. Yeah, well, the public decide how much sense of humour. You've got, okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Right, go in a cave and cry come because on, you're 
Okay. I'm not dark. going to cry. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go on. You don't care. Man. You don't care. You don't care. Yeah, it's don't not worth it. I don't care. You have I been wasn't being brutal. I don't care. Actually, that's not the point. If I had said that to me for them, everyone would have said I was being a bitch. I didn't hear. Some of the younger generation are either a bit more serious or their humour capacity has not developed as far as we have, just because, you know, we've been on the planet longer. For some reason, every word you say to Nick, she understands as some sort of attack or insult mm. or something. She's bubbling like a pan all the time. Any minute, it's going to spill over. I wish they could it's go... It's amazing, you know, like, Jimmy started it, I've got the brunt of it. I know, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. I've come to say I'm sorry to you, Nicola. I'm so sorry for offending you. And it was thoughtless of me. And I, I didn't mean to offend you, and I'm sorry that it is. So. Cool, I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much for apologising. Cool. And I'm sorry if I called you a dickhead. She was gracious enough to accept my apology. Phew. You know, getting on the wrong side of Nicola, you do feel a little bit like... Ooh, uh. Thank you very much. See you later. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye. Have a good time, Nicola. Have a, have a Nicola. Have a good time. Good luck. Oh, should have a nice peaceful afternoon. Right. I've just been picked to do the challenge and I'm absolutely petrified. I just hate doing them. Um, I'm just worried if it's snakes, spiders, closed spaces, water, anything. In the middle of mine and David's argument, I really wanted to say I'm going to get 11 stars and the person that's not eating is you. But I knew the rest of the camp, being a goody two-shoes, would have said, oh, well, it's not your choice to make. But I was going to say, well, they could have the rice and beans then, can't they? Because I'm not busting my balls to feed two people that really rile me. Thank you very much. Coming up, Simon's patience runs out. Deep down, you know what you're doing. And Nicola's nightmare becomes reality. I'm really, really petrified. Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Uh, before the break, we saw the start of a difficult morning down there, but at least they'd sorted one thing out. When it came to the daily chores, everyone had to muck in. And with Nicola away from camp, it was vital that Simon and Carly covered one of her most important duties. Arguing with David Van Day. Since they've come in the camp, that's when the vibes have started. Yeah. If it was the other way around, I'd be saying it to Nicola. Yeah, yeah, of course. But it's not, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that a bloody order, mate? We didn't know what Nicola was up for today, so obviously she, in her head she just needed to, you know, know that people were on her side. It looked like that it was Dave's opportunity to have a slight dig. We'll just cook them all up. Do you not like her or something? Mm. Uh, I was going to, I would say exactly the same. Does she not like me? There is a problem. There's obviously a problem, isn't there? Yeah, everyone like can it. have their little snide remarks and little pops or whatever, right? Because it goes back and forth. There's, that's banter, yeah? But when it comes to a trial, we're then supposed to be supportive. Then and that's serious. Because you're facing your fears every time, because you don't know what you're going up against. Yeah, it's the unknown. What we don't want is, ah, thank God it's not me and now it's you. This is the thing, you're very clever. Deep down, you know what you're doing and you know it was uncalled for. You know that you're not really getting on with each other. But he will turn around and say, well, it's not that I don't like her or she does, I just know she doesn't like me or whatever. You know, you're a grown man and you know what you're doing. Fair so enough, we'll see about each other ways. When, not, maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow. I'm not saying anything, mate. You're, you're, you're a big man. Maybe I should say to Nick, can I just a quick word? Do you like me? No, you don't have to ask me. No, 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 it's not about that. No, it's not about There's that. There's no reason why. I don't not leave like it. her just leave I don't it. dislike her. No. Or maybe just leave it. I don't know her. I don't know anything because about her, I really. You see, this is the, the, the misconception here, that I've got something against her. I don't have anything against her, but she's got an odd manner. She just drop it now. We've told him how we feel. It's up to him to take it on board. Who's we, by the way? We. You two. All of us. No, all of us. We all think what you said was that. out of order. I wasn't here, I don't know. I didn't hear what he said. I didn't hear, but I've been I, told. I saw the reaction, I didn't hear what he said. What did he say? What did you say, Simon? Oh, okay. I'm it's just nice. saying it's a teasing, mate. What yeah? did you say? At the what end of the say? day, when it wasn't him, he was all relieved. The other day when it was him, he was crying. End of. 
Yeah, no one came up to him and went, uh, everyone was like, you all right, no, mate? Give him a hug. Said, cry baby, cry baby, did they? What it, what it started, it sparked up something that didn't need to be sparked. Of course, I agree because, with that. Because I, what it is, is I'm wasting my energy on you. And I don't want to do that. Do I mean, I'm wasting my energy on you and I don't want to do that. He's sitting down on a bed. He's sitting down and they're all around him. All around him. It's, it's, it's like, who do they think they are? Man in that mind.